Originally, we approached Dale to look at just additional seating, but actually it was decided that if we're going to do it, let's do it right, and a full refurbishment of the offices was planned. Badgeco is a colour cosmetics company. We design and develop all the products in the UK and we bring them in from the Far East. Before the refurb, we didn't have any collaborative spaces. That made being creative quite difficult. We were sort of hemmed in and not with the right people. It was about creating the space, the ability to grow, to give us what we needed, but to recognise that we're going to have further growth in the coming years. And we also wanted to create an environment that was nice to work in, quite trendy, on trend, which is what our company is all about. It was clear we needed a partner who could help us visualise that. The first it would be basic scenario planning on a 2D layout, which is understanding what the space is now and what potential the space could be. From that, you can go down one or two routes. You can go down the line of meeting a physical requirement that the client has asked for, or you can start to explore the art of the possible. What else can we do? Can we expand? We need to make sure that everyone gets a benefit out of it. Whilst the refurb was ongoing, we moved into part cabins. So I think we had eight cabins altogether on two storeys, which was interesting. We literally turned the monitors off, all the PCs off, and moved into porta cabins uh, and switched back on again, and it was business as usual. It was fairly seamless. We'd got, we got done what we needed to do, and it was, uh, it was a reasonably quick process. When they wanted to knock walls down, I had to section off a large portion of the warehouse in order to make that happen. It was very easy to talk to them, and on our busy days, it was easy to say to them that we needed the space back, and, and they made that happen. One occasion, a member of their team came in over the weekend to clear the space so that we could carry on as business as normal. We wanted people to feel completely welcome and realise that you are in an office that is a colour cosmetics business. Having the manifestation as you arrive into the building that says hello in all the language that you can even imagine. Because we're a global organisation, that was key. And as we go into different areas of the world, we want everybody to be involved. Having the showroom was absolutely key. One of the things that we knew we needed in was a flexible space. So we came up with the idea of some movable storage units that we could display the product on. They are completely unique. We designed them, we developed them, we went to a company that handmade them for us. It's really nice to be able to give touches like that. We've got a fantastic dressing table mirror. We've also got a shop front as well. We are a colour cosmetics company, so having that means that we've got a space to sit and show the cosmetics to the customer in the way that they're supposed to be used rather than just around a boardroom table. So if you go out of the showroom up the back stairs, we come into Nosh and Natter, which is our main kitchen area. It's just made things a lot more efficient, but it also makes it feel quite like home. We have a booth area where people can have maybe a little bit more of an informal chat, a little bit of a quiet conversation. And we've got some pretty fancy meeting rooms now with some fairly high tech equipment that's really good for sort of conference calls when we're ringing head office. Having that area for the warehouse staff to sit and relax for a bit, it was really just to make sure that everybody's catered for in the best possible way. I don't think you could compare it. It's actually very, very difficult to remember what it was like before, now you're in the new building. Previously in the old office, we'd be sat in smaller groups, so therefore your ideas are going around three people rather than ten people. It's obviously much better to use the, the power of all of them rather than just a couple. Productivity has increased right through even into the warehouse. Having their own space to work and their, their own facilities has greatly improved our operation. We've got the space and we've got the capacity we need. And I think secondly, it's just the general environment, the ability to attract staff that we're going to need, the ability to retain people. If you come to work in a place like we've got now, it's going to be a lot simpler to do that. Businesses that are in a similar situation to a badge crow, they need to start to think about what they want from the space, what they need the space to be, but also who can help us achieve what we want to achieve with the space. So really think about what you want to get out of it in terms of your goals for it, and secondly, really, really try to maximise the space potential, because as we've shown, we had a small building, and it's, it is what is now quite a large working space. I'd start drawing up some ideas. I'd start thinking about the colours that you want. When you sat at your desk, what do you want to see? Do you want anything interesting, anything that's a little bit different? Gather together all those ideas, because although you might think, oh, I'm not sure how to do that, or whether that's even possible, Dale will know the answer. Anything really is possible. 
An environment has a massive impact on staff engagement and people being happy at work. It's about culture, it's about environment, and it's about the physical environment. So we've already got a lot of that nailed down. We've got the technology, we've got the great people, and now we've got a fantastic working environment.